Japan. It's a country I've been dreaming of traveling to ever since I was born, and as you can expect from an otaku like me, I bought a bunch of anime and manga related stuff from there. I stayed for a whole week around Osaka and Kyoto this time, and I spent more than 20,000 yen in stores like Animate and Melon Books. I'm thinking of doing another video on where you can go for anime shopping if you're here in the Kansai region. But for this video, let's get straight into my haul. If you're wondering, I'm staying at one of the traditional Japanese townhouses in Kyoto, and it is such an amazing experience. Firstly, I have a bunch of booklets from Melon Books, and most of them are from the latest comic K. This one is from Kanahirayama, also known as Kape, and she is the character designer of Rena Girlfriend and Oshinoko. That's why you see Chizuru on the cover. Her art is just so good, and I think she's a gem in the anime industry. Next up, we have the book from Kantoku. He is literally one of my favorite illustrators of all time. He has been in the industry for over 20 years, so I would highly, highly recommend you to check out his art. I also managed to pick up his previous book from Summer Comic K. These are the original characters designed by him. I would call him an expert when it comes to drawing schoolgirls. His characters are just so cute to look at. Next up, we have the book from Sakura Miwabe. I discovered her through reading some light novels, and her art is one of the best among the light novel illustrators. Her artwork is so detailed, and you'll want to spend some time looking at each of them. Next up is the whole life fan art from Hitsu. I only discovered this book when I was browsing the Hololife section. This Amelia is so 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 cute, and yeah, apparently Hitsu is from Canada. Next up, we have the new book from Rosuri. I have been following her Twitter account for a while, but I only found recently that she is also a VTuber. I love her original character designs, you have to check out her artwork. Next up, we have the latest art book from Hiten. I've introduced his art book on my channel before, so please watch it if you haven't yet. I also found some of his previous comic K volumes, so as a huge fan, naturally I have to buy them. By the way, he is from Taiwan, but he is now living in Japan. Next up, we have the latest Genshin fanbook from Torino. She is super super popular, and I believe some of you might have seen her art before. Every single one of her artwork is a masterpiece, and this book is also really thick. Next up, we have the new book from Tsunako who is the illustrator from Data Life. This is my first art book from them, and I love how adorable her artwork is. The last book I got for Comic K this time is from Mika Picasso. I have her first complete art book in my house, and I love how pop her art is. She is so good at using colors, which makes her artwork so unique, and I would highly recommend you to check out her work. I know I just said that, but literally every single one of her work is a masterpiece. I also got an art book from Melon Books, and this is the first illustration book from Mignon. This book is called Yami Tami because she is very good at drawing tummies. As usual, this is the bonus clear file from Melon Books. I have to cover up this part because it can be pretty dangerous for you too. Next up, we have the third manga volume of Do Your Best Doki-chan. This manga started off as a serialization on Twitter. We get a very cute clear file featuring Doki-chan. There is also a bigger version equivalent to the size of an art book. We get a bonus card from Animate, and you can see some of the panels that will be inside the art book. And another bonus card featuring Senpai-san. Next up, we have a new manga called Convenient Semi Friend. It is a Yuri rom-com manga that feels very similar to Shino and Ren, so of course I had to pick it up. It's from Kirara Magazine, the same one as Pochi the Rock. And we get a bonus leaflet from Animate. I also got the magazine where it's being serialized on, and this is Manga Time Kirara. It's a monthly magazine that specializes in the moe and slice of life genres. It is also relatively cheap, coming at 470 yen. The paper quality is slightly better than Weekly Shonen Jump. I also love that the bonus card is included for this magazine. These are the mangas I got from Animate. Firstly, we have Gachi Akta. It's an incredible shonen action series that you should check out if you haven't yet. This volume is gonna be so intense and I can't wait to read it. Next up, The Fragrant Flower Blooms with Dignity. This is volume 11. It's a very highly rated romance manga, and I have the previous 10 volumes in my bookshelf. I'm gonna start reading this series very soon, and hopefully I can make a video in the future. I love the art style from this mangaka. 
Next up, we have a weekly shonen jump manga called Kill Blue. It's about an assassin being turned into a middle school boy and I love the crack dynamics of this series. It is also really funny. Next up, volume 13 of Dun Dun Dun. I am so 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 excited for the anime adaptation. The trailers look so good. I call it a salad bowl of every single genre you can think of. It has romance, comedy, ecchi, whatever. It's just so good. Highly recommend it. Next up, I got volume 6 of Demons of the Shadow Realm. This is the special edition with a booklet. This is from the order of Full Metal Alchemist. The pacing is so well done and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. I was surprised when the cashier gave me a sticker as a bonus. I think you only get this from physical stores. Next up, we have the third volume of Seven Sleeping Beauties. I have only read the first volume of this rom-com. I felt that the plot is a bit typical and I wouldn't particularly recommend it. Maybe my view will change in the future, but I love the art style of this series. Next up, Volume 19 of 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. I have really high expectations for the TV anime that is coming this year. It is not just a cosplay manga, it is a manga targeted to all otakus. I just love it so much. I love the jokes, I love the story. It's one of my favorite mangas ever. Next up, we have Volume 13 of Masamune Kun's Revenge Engagement. This is the actual final volume of the entire series. A very beautiful bonus card from Animate. This is such a good rom-com and I can't wait to see how the story ends. Next up is Volume 7 of I Want to See You Embarrassed. It's an ecchi manga about a guy who wants to be a director and a girl who wants to be film. The art of this series is insanely good and if you're looking for a good fan series manga, this is it. There is also a bit of romance in the story which I appreciate. Next up, Volume 2 of Now That We Draw. It's about a guy who wants to be a manga artist and a girl who is helping him out. I haven't read the first volume but I heard some really good reviews from the Japanese site so I thought I wanted to check it out. This is the final manga we have for today, it's called Kindergarten Wars. It's about kindergarten teachers who used to be ex-criminals and they are now tasked to protect the children. It's a comedy manga so you can expect some good loves from reading this series. I also got a bonus sticker for this volume. I also got this stamp collection book from a One Piece store in Kyoto. How it works is that you can collect stamps from the jump shops and One Piece stores all across Japan. As a fan of Jump and One Piece, I think this is a must buy. I only managed to get this one stamp but I'm definitely going back to Japan for more. There are 23 stores all across Japan. You also get bonuses from how many stamps you've collected. Of course, being a huge Uta fan, I have to get her stickers. They are drawn by Oda Sensei. I also got this tiny little plushie featuring Gear Fifth Luffy. Look how cute it is. I got this bonus card for buying over 2000 yen, and it's the Year of Dragon, so of course we have Momonosuke here. I love how we get Oda Sensei's drawing on the back as well. I saw it as a middle finger at first. I also got Ado's newly released CD from Animate. She is so popular now, and this one includes her cover songs from other singers. Her cover of Unravel is next level. Being in Japan, I also got a bunch of very cultured manga that of course I cannot show on YouTube. Here are some of my favorite artists if you are interested, and you're welcome. Anime shopping in Japan has been so much fun. Please stay tuned for my video on where you should go if you are in Osaka or Kyoto for anime shopping. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you there.